Okay, so welcome to or back to Provo Body, and today we are talking about detoxing your gym routine. Everyone knows they set goals and they think that it's going to be linear and you're going to get there in one straight shot. That's not the way it goes. There's always peaks and troughs. So this is a really good time of year to look at your program and see how you can mix it up, what you can take out, what you can put back in to try and get out of those troughs that you'll be feeling, particularly after Christmas, and not necessarily making the gains you want. So I'm going to pick three topics. We're going to talk about running, we're going to talk about weight training, and we're going to talk about cycling. Three very popular things and we're gonna make it super simple. Okay, so running, and a lot of you might have signed up for a marathon this year and you would have started your training. I could speak for hours about whether marathon running is good or bad for you, but let's cut to the chase. Just running all the time is not the best way to get there. So if you've been running over Christmas and you've got a lot of niggles or potential injuries, take some time out and do something short and intense. And my advice is go and find yourself a class that does some HIIT training or some interval training. A great place to look at this is at November Project London. They do some fantastic stuff, it's free. You just turn up um, and they'll do something interesting and you're mixing up your routine and giving your body the best chance to adapt. Okay, the next one is weight training. Everyone thinks it's the best way to get gains and I've always been guilty of that in the past. But in the last year or so, I've been more than happy under the tutelage of At School of Calisthenics to mix it up and put in some body weight training. And I can't tell you in terms of injury prevention, enjoyment, that this is a great way to go. So, you know, even if you're committed to that three or four times a week lifting heavy weights, now's the time to give your body a rest, mix it up, change your neural pathway, and give your body something else to think about, and you'll see great results. Okay, last one, cycling. Big bugbear of mine, but if you are insistent on spending hours and hours on a bike to get fit, at least do something interesting and different, especially this time of year. Actually, in all seriousness, it can be quite dangerous, wet and slippy out there. So why not get yourself into a great spin class, or even better, get yourself on a Watt bike, follow them at Watt bike. These things are brutal. In 10 minutes, you can do yourself more damage and build up more lactase than five hours cycling around outside. Okay, so those have been my tips on detoxing your gym routine. Ultimately, we're trying to mix it up, give your body something else to think about, and hopefully pick up some new tips and skills that you can take forward. Okay, so we've been talking about detoxing your gym routine. Next time, we're gonna be talking about detoxing your diet and producing an alkaline blood pH. Because ultimately, that's the thing that's gonna help you to sleep better, grow better, and get better results in the gym.